My name is Michaela Gaul and I make ceramics and I'm a painter as well. I paint on the ceramics. The ceramics are myolica, which is a red earthenware glazed with a tin oxide glaze. I studied um, illustration at college, but basically I painted. Um, I wasn't completely sold on illustration and then I always had a hankering to do ceramics and I started taking part-time classes and got hooked. My work is, it's probably more illustrational than I anticipated. Um, it's quite playful. I play with the surface, with a 2D surface. Um, so you can create shadows, sort of trompe l'oeil effects, portraits and you know a story that goes over the form of the piece and onto the other side so it can be mirror images or I don't know just whatever I feel like really. I start off with the clay which I which in this case is red earthenware which is a nice soft clay to throw and if I'm hand building uh, if I'm making the big plates they're made in a mold otherwise I throw them on the wheel and make any distortions or shapes that I want to. Then you turn the piece when it's leather hard, cut off any excess. Then it has the first firing, um, the bisque firing, and then you glaze it. So you pour the glaze over or you submerge the piece in the glaze. Um, and that's the tin oxide glaze that I make, um, which is myolica. And then when that's dry, um, it has like a sort of chalky finish. You paint stains or oxides on that and then you give it the second firing. Yeah, I, I work, I do all, I also have all sorts of themes. One is portraits. So that's a plate that's um, so drawn on, it's had a first firing, not a second firing. Um, so you can, it's quite intriguing because the paint you're using on with ceramics is different to oil paint or something so textures like hair and glasses are all quite um, intriguing to realize in a ceramic medium um, then the series that I'm working on right now is of wading birds which is big plates for the shop floor project um, I'm also working on a series of lamp stands for a shop um, nearby so that will be interesting different kind of good shapes and uh, some decorative and some kind of more pictorial narrative stories so I think one of the things I like about ceramics is you're using it's an immediate tactile um, process with your hands and it is a craft in the sense that there is a lot of process stages to go through but obviously you apply your judgment as an artist, or, and in my case as a painter, as to the finished product. So it's a mixture. I mean, I'm not purely a crafts person because I don't pr production throw, you know, throw a massive amount. And I don't really want all the pieces to have this finished, even, um, unifying quality. I want them to be, to kind of speak so I sort of want the clay to speak and the painting to speak in each piece. Uh, that's my plan. Mm -hmm.